The Louisville Railway Company was a streetcar and interurban rail operator in Louisville, Kentucky. It began under the name Louisville City Railway in 1859 as a horsecar operator and slowly acquired other rival companies. It was renamed in 1880 following the merger of all mule operations as the Louisville Railway Company. All tracks were 5 feet mm gauge. Topic timeline 1889 First electric streetcar line in Louisville opened on Green Street, now Liberty Street 1901 Electrification of streetcar lines completed 1901. The Crescent Hill Mule Car Line The system's last. 1901 Louisville and Eastern Railroad opens first interurban railway in area, extending northeast to Crestwood. 1904 Louisville and Interurban Railroad opens its first interurban line, east to Jeffersontown. Louisville and Interurban Railroad was owned by Louisville Traction Co., a holding company which also owned Louisville Railway Co. 1904 line also opened northeast to Prospect, by electrifying a Louisville and Nashville Steam Railroad branch former Louisville Harrods Creek and Westport Railway. This would be the only 4 feet 8.5 in 1435 mm standard gauge interurban line in the Louisville area, with broad gauge on all other electric railways in area. 1905 Louisville and Interurban Railroad opens Interurban Line southeast to Ocalona. 1907 Louisville and Eastern Railroad completes Interurban Line beyond Crestwood to Lagrange. Louisville and Interurban Railroad opens Interurban Line southwest to Oral. 1908 Louisville and Interurban Railroad opens Interurban Line southeast to Fern Creek. 1910 Louisville and Eastern Railroad opens Interurban Line east to Shelbyville. 1911 Louisville and Interurban Railroad acquires Louisville and Eastern Railroad. 1923 Louisville Railway Co. forms subsidiary Kentucky Carriers Inc., which operates first bus route in Louisville on 3rd Street. This route was not successful, and would be discontinued within a few months. Additional bus routes were created that year, which would be more successful. 1927 People's Transit Co. begins operating bus route on Broadway in competition with streetcars, but is soon ordered to cease operating. Additional new bus routes created, operated directly by Louisville Railway Co. In addition, Virgil Pierce begins operating bus route on Preston Street to Camp Taylor, competing with Interurban Railway route which operated south to Ocalona. 1928 Kentucky Carriers bus routes transferred to Louisville Railway Co., with Kentucky Carriers subsidiary remaining only as a charter bus operator. 1931 Interurban Line to Ocalona abandoned, with Virgil Pierce bus route remaining to provide local service. 1932 Interurban Line to Jeffersontown abandoned. Blue Motor Coach Co. formed, providing replacement bus service. 1933 Interurban Line to Fern Creek abandoned, replaced with bus service operated by Blue Motor Coach Co. Bus service operated into downtown Louisville, not carrying local passengers within city. 1934 Interurban Line to Shelbyville abandoned, with no direct bus replacement. Southeastern Greyhound Lines already provided service along this route, on its route between Louisville and Lexington. 1935 Interurban Line to LaGrange abandoned, replacement bus service operated by Shawduan Bus Lines. 
Interurban line to Prospect abandoned, replaced with Paxton Bus Line route. After World War II, Paxton Bus Line would be succeeded by Goebbels Bus Line, and later Prospect Bus Line. Interurban line to Oral also abandoned, replaced with Louisville Railway Co. bus route. Virgil Pierce bus line sold to Blue Motor Coach Co. 1936 Walnut becomes first trolleybus route in Louisville. 1938 Newburgh bus line begins operation, serving Newburgh and Bechel areas southeast of downtown Louisville. The line would later be sold to Bechel Bus Co., which would later extend service to General Electric's appliance factory, completed in 1951. 1945 Shawduan Bus Lines sold to Kentucky Bus Lines. 1948 – Last streetcars replaced with buses Louisville Railway ended all streetcar service on the 4th Avenue Queen Loop route Derby Day 1948 – Blue Motor Coach Co. introduces service between Louisville and Middletown, over objections of southeastern Greyhound lines, already serving Middletown along its route between Louisville and Lexington, 1951 Its trolley buses ceased service on Market Street, Walnut and 4th Street following the expiration of a power agreement with Louisville Gas and Electric and Louisville Railway Company. 1951 Louisville Railway Co. sold to Louisville Transit Co. Blue Motor Coach Co. discontinues Middletown bus route after a court battle, leaving Southeastern Greyhound Lines as the only provider of service along this route. 1953 Louisville Transit Co. assumes Middletown service from Southeastern Greyhound Lines, after service proved to be inadequate and unprofitable for Greyhound. The Middletown route was formed by extending its St. Matthews Express bus route. 1958 Louisville Transit Co. acquires Bechelle Bus Co. 1972 Louisville Transit Co. acquires Kentucky Bus Lines routes. 1974 Louisville Transit Co. becomes publicly owned Transit Authority of River City. Discontinues service to LaGrange and Shepherdsville. 1976 Transit Authority of River City acquires Blue Motor Coach Co. 1977 Transit Authority of River City acquires Prospect Bus Line. 2014 Louisville Railway Company reformed as a non-profit to promote restoration of Market Street streetcar service. <laughs> Fleet 100 Coolman Car Company 1929 Master Unit 200 St. Louis Car Company 1929 Master Unit 250 Cincinnati Car Co 1929 Master Unit 345 to 354 Louisville Railway Company 1912 355 to 368 Coolman Car Company 1924 401 to 477 Brill Car Company 1922 Bernie 500 to 537 Cincinnati Car 1922 Bernie 551 to 553 Brill Car Co 1879 700 to 723 St. Louis Car 1900 770 to 784 Coolman Car Company 
800 to 889 St. Louis car 1902 930 to 935 St. Louis car company 1905 936 to 945 St. Louis car company 1905 9801049 St. Louis Car Company 1905 1050 to 1112 Cincinnati Car Company 1910 25 PCC cars numbered 501 to 525 were ordered from the St. Louis Car Company in 1946 but the order was cancelled before delivery was completed the Louisville-bound cars were instead sold to the Cleveland Transit System where they became numbers 4250-4274. See also Louisville and Interurban Railroad <laughs>